Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here. And guess what? We're just pressing start. We're just getting into this. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun if we just did a video where we messed around. So right now we got 20 um, Tiger Tanks, German Panzer Tiger Tanks, coming on up, rolling up to an ATTE tank who is going to try and defend from them. As you guys know, the ATTE is one of the most powerful tanks in the Star Wars universe. And then, of course, the Tiger Tank is an extraordinarily powerful uh, tank from World War II. So, I mean, they weren't powerful enough to navigate a traffic jam when one of their tanks gets tracked, but that's okay. Um, this Tiger Tank is just really going for it. Oh, but it does get absolutely nailed right there by the by the ATTE. So, I mean, it it, it kind of deserved it for absolutely just yamming its way forward without waiting for any reinforcements behind who it knew it was in a in a traffic jam. But either way, now we got a few more uh, Tiger Tanks coming on forward here, going up against this ATTE. They're lobbing their shells. I mean, they can physically penetrate that ATT. The problem is the ATTE, of course, has um, shields on it, so that's sort of an, a technology that didn't exist during World War II, or now, uh, but, you know, obviously exists in Star Wars. Look at that, the 50 count bullets. You can see the tracers glancing off of the shield on the outside and making that little boing boing noise. That's pretty cool. Um, we got the gunner here. He's trying desperately to hit some of these Tiger Tanks. He's really failing. When I was actually testing this battle, the um, the Tigers were blowing up left and right, but I guess this time the ATTE kind of choked here. Um, and it really only got that one massive kill, and now it's, uh, it's kind of struggling. Ooh, but there we go. It gets another, a second one. Uh-oh. We got a Tiger Tank literally going around the perimeter of this river. Maybe it's trying to get around the flank here or, or something. It's not really another bridge it can go around. I don't even know what that thing's doing. Um, ATTE here, though, still holding strong. Still getting some very nice, very nice kills. I don't know, I was thinking maybe it'd be kind of fun to just goof around every so often and, and just do weird stuff like this. Um, not take things too seriously. Uh-oh, ATTE is now flaming. It's got its sirens going off and kapuya. So, uh... It, it looks like it takes... Well, these Tiger Tanks are seriously damaged. This one's got its main gun damage. This one also has its main gun damage. Um, I think we had like two or three Tiger Tank deaths in total. This one back here was damaged too. Um, so, one ATTE can actually hold off quite a number of Tiger Tanks. Let's, let's go do some more stuff. I'll be right back. Alright guys, we've upped the ante a little bit. We, we've got five... ATTE tanks. Look at these behemoths, you know, in these earth-like structures and things like that. They look crazy, but oh, just an epic barrage right there. Um, they're a little far away, so they really didn't get much in terms of hits on the front-running Tiger tank there. Still another traffic jam back here. It's World War II. They, their radios weren't the best. Maybe they're, they're having a little trouble with coordination. But these ATTEs, they make quick work of that front-runner this time. And uh, the second Bad Larry to cross that bridge there is uh, coming in a lot slower. They're probably pretty wary of these ATTEs. Look at this one just like chilling on the hillside, half floating. All terrain vehicle, my butt. That thing's having a heck of a lot of trouble right there. Alright, second Tiger Tank coming on in here. Gets domed right there. That main gun and the turret is definitely down, but it's getting some backup. It's also utilizing the hull of. Oh. No, it's dead. Well, it was trying to utilize the hull as a shield there. Even the tank behind it's going down. We see a member of the Wehrmacht crawling around here with his little, uh, I don't know, Walther P-38, something like that. <laughs> Another Tiger tank coming around. Oh, this one on the right here. I didn't even notice this one. Also got absolutely shredded. This one is doing the strategy I was talking about before where it's like using this front tank as cover. It's not working. Let's just say that. Clearly, 20 Tiger Tanks are just, honestly, in the uh, in the struggle boat here. Not doing well. Their, their tank crews are just bailing out like, what is happening? What are these foreign invaders? 
Um, we got this boy doing a little perimeter flank that we had seen previously, but this time around there's a there's a tank here, so I don't know if that's the greatest idea. He might just be met by <laughs> by a by an ATTE walker. All right, this one's sort of plowing on through here. Yeah, he's getting some fire out, but nope. There, goodbye, goodbye. Yeah, this is uh, this is not exactly working out. <laughs> they still haven't really. All right, we're just gonna yeet yeet. We're gonna solve this traffic jam for the Germans. And they are good at engineering. They clearly are struggling. What? Why are you guys? How are you coming back onto the land? I don't know. Whatever. We'll we'll let them be. All right, we got a bigger assault going on this time. We got looks like four or five Tiger tanks all going at these ATTEs together. Together. And the ATTEs have these weird looking bulby, you know, firing things. And these things are actually, they're really powerful. Those little bulbs, I would notice they're, they're actually causing main gun damage on these Tiger tanks. So those things actually have armor piercing damage to them. Um, which is surprising for a secondary weapon on a large tank like that. So it's not something you want to mess with. You know, this is just like, they, okay, so each tank has four of those bulbs. So they've got 20 um, guns, rapid-firing um, AT, sh like, light, to be fair, light AT shells, rapid-firing them at the Tiger tanks, and then they've got five main guns trained on them. So when those little weapons, you know, might track you or take out your main gun or whatever, then their main gun just wipes the rest of you out. So the Germans not having a very good time. No siree. No bueno. Here comes another tiger tank here. Is this the last one? Oh, there's a couple more. Well, this one got like absolutely toasted out here and can he even fire? I can. Doesn't do much and <laughs> it attracted the attention of the tanks, so sorry buddy. I do apologize for that. Um, then we got this this bad Larry over here who's going for that full flank over here. He's challenging this tank. He takes a hit to the front, doesn't seem phased by it. You know the the Blaster fire from the ATTs, they're powerful, but they don't necessarily KO the tanks instantly. You know, there's a fair fight to be had here. It just doesn't always happen. You know? I love this French countryside kind of thing we got going on in this map. I don't know if I recognize this map actually from the multiplayer. Uh, it got main gun damage right there. Ooh, and there she blows. Alright. We got one last tank back here, but he's like stuck in the water. <laughs> How many kills did each of these tanks get? This one got 13 uh, soldiers killed and 2 tank kills. This one got 22 kills, 4 tank kills. This one got 11 kills, 2 tank kills. This one got 9 kills, 1 tank kill. And this bad Larry got 16 kills, 6 tank kills. <laughs> That's so many. My god. These dudes were absolutely brutal. Let's be back and we'll, uh, we'll switch it up from ATTEs. Okay, comrade. You see... Super tank over there. It's, it need to go bye bye. The, this man, Dimitri, leads charge with his wide eyes. Let us go, Dimitri. Oh, yes. Very good. <laughs> I went a little Irish there. Very good. I, I can't do accents. God, for the life of me. Alright, there's a CIS super tank over here. And, uh,. <laughs> <laughs> these, uh, these poor Russian chaps they are gonna have to die hate to say it well look at them they're actually like actually going like a nice line they're kind of they're kind of flanking the super tank a little bit not all of them though some of them are like going under the bridge super tank do you not see Russians oh there you go there you go I didn't have to do anything <laughs> here it goes with its flipping like Neville for on the top just crashing into these Russians. Oh, daddy. Oh my god, and the Russians start pouring laser fire. Not laser fire, those are real bullets. So used to saying laser fire. That's the super tanks running. Look at all the bazookas hitting it. Oh my god, they took it out. What? Oh. Oh, now this was not expected. I, I did not expect the Russians to win. Holy cow. Never underestimate the Russian Empire. Oh my god, look at all the dead. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Comrade Dimitri. 
the the robots they have new robots they have hamster ball we attack hamster ball we do not we do in soviet russia hamster ball you <laughs> oh D dmitri oh he does not like it oh they took early shots there and now they're getting they're getting a little laser beam action going on look at that super tank Oh my god, it's gutting down the bridge. Oh my god! Whoa, dude! Oh! Look at these lucky ducks down here that had the brains not to go on the bridge this time around. Dimitri did not have such brains. Look at this. Look at this rocket rocket troopers up here taking pot shots at these droidikas. Droidikas responding in, in turn. Droidika! It's such a Russian word, dude. Oh, whoa, whoa, look at, look at that dude. He was just going for it. He was just flipping, do it. Heck yeah. Oh my God, all right. Russia cannot handle the hamster balls of doom. Oh look, more peppering hellfire over there. <laughs> They're trying their darndest with their little cute Mosin Nagant. Oh, they might've gotten a kill there. Oh. They're getting a few kills. There's a bazooka trooper up here doing some work. It's the bazookas. Those are key. If they can... Oh, my God. The entire bridge came down. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, then. Oh. All right. Where's this bazooka trooper? I straight up can't find where he's firing from. But, like, if he keeps that up, he could win this for Mother Russia. He could do us proud. Do it for Stalin, brother. Do it. Or to the gulag with you. Oh, look at this SMG rifleman. Oh, he's coming up. Ooh, bye bye. <laughs> All the little PPSHs versus laser beams. Ooh, down to three droidicas now. Well, okay. To be fair, three do droidicas and a super tank. Let's. Well, how's the super tank doing? Oh, wait. Oh no, the super tank's still alive. Super Tank's got 369 kills. Yeah, that's, um... <laughs> oh my god, it's moving out now. It said, I'm done with this. I'm doing more. We're, we're going for the kills. Oh! It was just rotating to get more shots off. Holy cow. Whew! Oh my goodness. Only two droidikas left. And they're just kind of spamming fire across the bridge here. This is so bad. Oh, these poor Russian soldiers. Oh, hey, another rocket trooper. These guys are key. If they if they lose all these guys, they're donezo. That's like the end. No, yeah, but this guy's getting some good shots in. What a brave soldier. Straight up, I'd be like, all right, this is flipping sci-fi looking butt is destroying all of my comrades. <laughs> it just takes so many bazooka shots, but. This dude, Alexi, he does not give up. Ooh, did it blow up? Wait. No, I don't think it did. I think it shields down, though. I think. Oh, there goes Alexi. He's dead. You're done now. Yeah, because we're not seeing the little bubbles of it being, um, having shield. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, my God. He's getting right up in there. Dude. I mean, that's probably a pretty solid strategy. Oh, there he goes. Burst into flame. All right, we got two droidicas they got to deal with now. And the only way they've really been able to deal with the droidicas is with rocket troopers. So, you know, hopefully they got one or two left. I don't know if they do. Well, they could also, you know, now that there's only two of them, they could get some AT grenades or something going here. I don't know. Look at this guy sneaky beaking on up here. Oh, he tries to shoot him, but God, just no dice. Yeah. And Droidicas don't even care. Yeah, look at that. They don't they don't even care. Can what like can you guys penetrate with regular bullets? Look at this guy. He knows the strat. Walk up to it. Join the Droidicas. If you can't beat him, join him. Now look this guy's like, oh yeah, you're right. Nope. Psych! Oh, there we go. He got one. <laughs> look at these two dummies. Wow, you just ran in front of the guns. Bruh. 
Yeah, okay, yeah, you're a special kind of dumb. But look at that. This this boy is the absolute champ of this battle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again, Mother Russia is unstoppable. All right. Part toi of the Mother Russia series. All right, we got freaking battle droids out the wazoo here. And uh, Mother Rashka. This is the final test for Dmitri. Dmitri, with your spread eyes. <laughs> oh, Dmitri, don't don't walk so fast. This is supposed to be cinematic. Calm down, calm down, Dmitri. You think you are hot stuff. You are not, Dmitri. You are nothing. Look at them walking forward. Oh God. Yeah, it's gonna get a little laggy. Oh my God, very laggy. Okay, this was a mistake. <laughs> This was too much for my computer. <laughs> Why'd I do this? Alright, infantry versus infantry. Are droids dropping? Are they getting are they getting killed? They're getting nailed. They're getting absolutely nailed. Good old earth bullets. Wrecking some scrap metal from space. Oh yeah, baby. You you eat some mother Russia stuff. Oh my god, it's so laggy though. Okay, Dimitri, we have made a mistake. Be right back. Okay, we we split both numbers in half. Um, it got to be a, a little too much for my processor. Um, it did not like it. <laughs> Didn't like it at all. So, Dimitri's back with a, a smaller force. You know, my, still many much many much comrades, and uh, still many many battle droids, but. Hopefully, my computer doesn't have an aneurysm again. Ah, huh? Eric. Oh no. Ah. Uh, it's not as bad as last time. I don't know. Last time it, it literally it took ages just to stop the battle. Like my computer was lagging so much it would it wouldn't stop the battle. <laughs> it's basically like no, no, we're not doing that. Daily, you're making this battle happen. But I showed it when I pulled the plug. Alright, I didn't actually do a hard reset, but it did eventually work. Alright, look at these Baldur getting clinked by by bullets. Bullet. Alright. We'll see who wins this one. This one ended up being a lot less exciting than I thought it would be. It's basically, you know, lasers versus bullets. I was having more fun with the super tanks, but it's still pretty good. Still kind of fun to watch. The Rushkas go up against the Battle Royals. The Roger Roger versus the Das Kamanas. You know. Just normal day in Russia. This is what happens. You guys ever been to Russia? You guys experienced the Battle Royal Invasion? It's pretty wild. So it's a wild time. You know. I got nothing to say about this one. Oh, this one was a bad one. Man, all the other ones are fun though. It is kind of fun to revisit World War II. Considering that's what daily gaming basically like, was birthed out of World War II style of content. I, like, haven't done, like, any of that since. I've been kind of, like, seriously considering doing more World War II stuff on the daily production, so, because I felt like that would be a really fun thing to do, because that's, you know, not a Star Wars channel. Um, and obviously I can do, like, Star Wars versus Earth things on here, but seriously, I'm mainly, I'm literally a Star Wars channel. I feel like a lot of people would be annoyed because I'd be, like, giving uh, World War II content when that's not the reason why the majority of you guys subscribe. So, I prefer to keep it, um, you know, Star Wars themed only, with of course like exceptions to like Men of War, or sorry, not to uh, Army Men of War and stuff like that, but overall I think I've been doing a pretty good job of theming the channel and then daily productions is where I can do just sort of random stuff, so maybe I will do a little bit of uh, World War II based battles and things like that on daily productions because I do kind of miss it. The main force led by Dimitri over there is all dead. Actually, is everyone like that? Oh no, there's still a few Rushkas. Rushkas left alive. 
Here we got Miloslav Polikov over here. Let's crawl Milskov up. See if we can't. Little Milskov. We got this. We got an easy kill here. Ready for this, Milskov? They don't even see us. Kapuya! Oh, we missed. Milskov, duck down. Go, Milskov. Go. Very good. Very, very good, Milskov. Very good. Okay. Roman Sokolov. Over here, Commandant. Oh, 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 you're, you're standing. Brother. <laughs> Brother. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, Dios mio. Oh, we got the kill. Ah, thermal detonator. They don't know what that's called, though. So we call it glowing grenade. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> Look, he just kicked that battle droid to death. Ah, oh, they're all dead. All right, battle, battle droids won that one. Um. It seems like way more Russians died. I'm pretty sure way more Russians died than battle droids. I might have accidentally given the battle droids more troopers. But who cares? This is a goofy battle. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really did hope you enjoyed this goofier video. Do you want to see more of this like wild kind of content where it's not exactly a storyline or anything like that, but you know, we're just having fun. Um, you know, goofing around. I can also do weird stuff with just like Star Wars versus Star Wars and things like that. I'd prefer it to stay Star Wars theme though, so. Um, yeah, thanks so much. I'll see y'all later. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.